Welcome back to my channel, this is Toasted Gaming and today we're playing another Russian FPS So this one was made in 2003, same as that previous one I did and I tried it for a few minutes Guys, you just have to see this, so as you can see it's same menu and Wanna see how this game looks? Wait And it's same well but but you'll see it's same engine same here different developer different publisher i i have no idea how maybe same developer just use different name who knows so also f12 starts the game and i'll bring the game so it was developed by company i i don't know if you can even call it company i couldn't find any info maybe it's just a team, a pair of guys, maybe one guy. Huh? So, yeah, sun is outside, so it's a, bit, it's a bit harder to see for me, but it's gonna be good enough. So, yeah, this game was made in 2003 and published by New Media Generation. So, not Russo Bit like the previous one. Also, the previous one was made by different company, developed. Um, so. Yeah, media, new media generation. I looked at what they, what else did they make or publish, and uh, it's it's tough. Their most known stuff is that we published few Ubisoft games in in Russia, like Rainbow Six Free and Splinter Cell: Pandora Tomorrow. They also made few games, but you probably guys don't know them. Like Hired Team Trial Gold. I played that as a kid. It's a very bad Quake Free knockoff. They're all swimming. That's awesome. So, yeah, I don't know. New Media Generation. They made a strategy game called Aztec Wars. Yeah, Russians made it. <laughs> Interesting. And that's it about them. I have no other info. It also uses Cube Engine, as you can see, same as the previous game. What was that previous one called? Droom for Fire. Yeah, that's a name. This one's called just Final Cut. Well, Final Cut is not that bad either. <laughs> it was never published outside of Russia. It, it's never been translated, but why would you translate this game? There's nothing to translate. There's no story, no nothing. I just walk into them. I don't think you can choose your difficulty, so... Who cares? <laughs> um, but this one's better made. And it's still weird. Maybe it's made by the same people as that previous one. They were called Bilby Game Art something. I can't remember their name. You don't need to remember names of companies like that. Do we have other weapons? We have fists. It's just sound. There's, there's no fist. Um, but yeah, I checked and you can't go into editing menu like in previous game if you pressed e you would go into this whole editor where you could add enemies and you know change map you can't do it in this one so maybe it's using better version it's better made as you can see maps also look better that previous one it looked like some kid dropped everything in five minutes and said yep that's a game this one looks like we had no budget, we, we knew how to make something very, very simple and we stick with it. It's awful, it's it's so bad, it's another awful Russian FPS from 2003, but this one's still so much better than that previous one. I can actually call this game, that previous one was a test, a prototype, and nothing. Oh, you can even jump over things also i don't know maybe those enemy models are not stolen like in previous game in reign of fire because that one used counter-strike models and also osama bin laden was there i don't know feels like something we found on the internet and they just put there i don't i'm not sure but if i had to guess i'd guess that they didn't make these models either of enemies, but 
But I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. This is very bad. I'm interested to see how those Russian FPS games gonna improve. This is just 2003. What happened in 2004? They're gonna get there soon. There's not many that you can find from 2003. I'm sure there's a lot of Russian FPS games that were... That are still not found on the internet. Unless you go through Russian websites. I'm gonna die, I'm stuck. But I think I'm getting enough viruses just downloading games like this, so... I won't go looking to some weird forums for games. What?! How good is he? I almost died, damn it. I need help. Ow. And I died. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know what? I think we need to try a different character. <laughs> it doesn't change anything, but maybe we would at least get some new weapons. Why not? We want. There's more characters in this one. We want to play as this guy. Looks like soldier. This guy looks like soldier from future. Or... <gasps> Obviously, this guy called... Odnoglazi Dront. I have no idea what it means. Not chatty group. <laughs> um, I can read Russian words, but I have no idea what they mean. I know, I know language, but Cyrillic. What is that called language? Uh, not language. Letters. Who cares? Oh, look, we're in wild now. Oh. And, oh my god, that was a stolen enemy. That was... That was enemy from original Doom except in 3D. What? So they still stole stuff. Damn, I really wish I knew if... This Kirill and Methodius company... Was actually the same one as that Bilby one. But when I saw that Bilby also made FPS game in 2004. So... Maybe not the same. No, well, cool weapons. Now, Bilby couldn't have made game this good. <laughs> Kirill and Matodis didn't. I have no ammo on anything, so we'll have to go and fist those enemies. <laughs> they just... They stand doing nothing until you go there and hit them. And that sound is like somebody's beating meat. I don't know if you can hear it, guys. Yeah, but like I said, somehow it's still better than the previous one. I have no idea how, but good job, Kirill and Methodius. Enemies don't even do anything until you touch them. <laughs> I mean, you can jump with right mouse button. Mm -hmm. How about some ammo? Oh, I have, I have, I have ammo, I have ammo. Oh, <gasps> they're fighting each other. Well, I did not expect that. Yeah, so like that one, the previous one, I have no idea who could have enjoyed it, even back in the day in Russia. But this one, I'm sure people with old computers, you know, they couldn't play games like Rainbow Six Free. Or, or Half-Life 2, they were like, Oh, did you see that cool new game by Kirill and Methodius called Final Cut? Well, you, they would say that in Russian, so. And they would be like, Yo, I know, I know, that game is so awesome. Can we, can we trade? I have a game called Learning Math with uh, Alexei Petrov. I don't know, that's... Something made up. Yeah, let's 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 trade. <laughs> and these games have really interesting descriptions. Like, there is a war, and you're the only soldier who can fix this problem. And you're like in some counter-terrorism unit, and so you go and kill all the terrorists. I don't know. This doesn't feel like I'm killing, like I'm stopping war or killing terrorists. Well. Yeah, that second part, yeah, maybe, 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 but there's no story in this, you just, you just spawn there and you murder everything, that's it, it's like Quake 3, 
but we've retarded bots and I don't know it's like no it's actually like that game cube you know except it's not engine it's game <laughs> I don't know this sucks this sucks but like I said we saw improvement so I'm really interested to see what we get next another obscure Russian FPS game you know only ones that were released in Russia and nobody ever saw them before <laughs> probably well I'm playing it so this one's called I can't remember well, I don't care, that's the thing. <laughs> title of the game is in the description. Not, in, not just in description, but, you know, title of the video. So, it was made by Bilby Game Studio. Oh, it's called Pied Piper. Okay, I remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was... It was made by Bilby Game Studio. You watch, If you watch my previous videos on obscure Russian FPS games, I played room for fire that was made by the same guys just year before that was 2003 distance from 2004 and did they improve uh, well I don't even know what I got myself into look I'm killing him yeah they just huh? we're so easy to kill look at all those beautiful graphics from 2004 Cool. <laughs> I wonder what engine this uses. Is this also cube engine? Enemies remind me of cube. Maps don't. Uh, I don't know maps. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are more familiar with cube engine than me. Then tell me. I need weapon. N actual weapon, not just tiny baby chainsaw. So not even chain. Oh, there's something here, look. A wall house with... A pistol? How do I... Oh. Look at that animation. <laughs> Those are just some guys who look like terrorists, but we're also made to be scary? Huh? I just... Those previous two games I played on... On this series, we're weird, but this one I just. I don't even know. It was published by a different company. That. The Triumph of Fire game was published by Russo Bit, which was like. The biggest Russian game company back in the day. This one was published by. New Media 2000? Media something 2000? Who cares? Thing is, I looked at what that, what else did that company publish? Nothing. They probably only publish games that were released just in Russia, so we don't know them. I don't know them. <laughs> we also localized a lot of games in early 2000s, you know, for Russian market. So that's something. Wait, where was the? Oh, okay, okay. That's just another enemy. Wow. So is it fanta is it like fantasy FP? I'm gonna die. Do I have 25 HP? Somebody's shooting at me. Oh that guy. Wow, just three just flew flew by me. <laughs> oh FP has dropped a lot. Oh new level. Cool. <laughs> and I just that song was from Half-Life. Guys, you stole sound from Half-Life. I mean, nobody's ever gonna find out that things were stolen since game was never released outside of Russia. It's still... It's still a crime. What do I do? Oh, okay, I respawn. The 5 HP! I hate this game. <laughs> what? How am I supposed to do this with 5 HP? I guess I screwed up. Can we go faster? Oh, okay, 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 okay. That, that was a sound from Quake 3. <laughs> when I picked health. Look at that new enemy, wow. They, they look like humans, but their death sounds are like some monsters from some horror game. 
<laughs> He's just sitting in the corner. Wow, this game is awesome. It must be Cube Engine, right? Oh, that music. I don't know. We probably can hear it because sound is too low, but music's pretty cool. It's weird, but it's music. Yeah, so half of the game looks like, you know, warp shooter, something like that. Can I pick this up? What? That looks like a weapon. Is there like a use button? I don't think there is. There's a reloading button. I don't know. I don't know, so we can't get it. Who is that? And I'm out of ammo. Please, I need this. But is that a weapon? Looks like plane to me. Like, like some sci-fi <laughs> plane. I can't pick this up. It's glitched. Mm -hmm. What? I don't like this game. I can't go to main menu and you know change character like in Triumph of Fire, so this game sucks. <laughs> I need health. I don't know, I'm having some weird fun. I guess because of how bad this is. It's also one of those games that are so bad they're good. Right? What do you guys think? <laughs> I wonder, did Bilby Game Studio made any games after this one? Because I want to see them improve. This is an improvement over... Can I... Can I pick stuff up or not? Oh my god. Ugh. I can't read Russian, what do I think? <laughs> but I picked up this weapon before. Now I... Okay, I stood up. Please! I need whatever this is. No. Wait, I'll press every button I can. Now this doesn't make any sense. Wait, I have it! Since when? Oh. Why am I so small now? Okay, let's try it. Mm. Now that's a real weapon. <laughs> With this one I can do some damage. Mm -hmm. They're shooting terrorists. I can't see anything because of sun, what? They're shooting terrorists with some futuristic alien weaponry. <laughs> I actually finally found the exit. No! I died too. Can't, let's not play this anymore. I think I had enough of fun. Or... Since we... Oh, we don't have that weapon. Okay, yeah, yeah, enough, enough. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> so, this game sucks, but I see an improvement. Still a lot of stolen stuff. Also, very poor game. Two th game like this from 2004? <laughs> Another obscure Russian FPS. And thing is, it's also made by Bilby Game Studio. I didn't know until I got downloaded it, so... Yeah. You know what we're gonna see, just cube game with barely any effort put in. Probably no effort actually. Yeah, so Bilby Game Studio, we played two of their games already, Triumph of Fire and that other one, I don't remember names. Yep, this is just cube again, same sounds, same weapon, different enemies, but it's Almost identical. Also made in 2004, like the previous obscure Russian FPS game I played. That was also made by Bilby Game Studio. And this one was also published by Media Generation. New Media 2000. Media something 2000. I don't know. But. 
This one's so bad. It's better than Room for Fire. Everything is better than Room for Fire, but... Ugh. Look what we have. That's a rifle. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So that's what Russians were playing in 2004. That's the games we found in their stores in 2004. So... Probably it cost very, very... I mean, price was very, very low. Probably, right? It had to be. There is no way this game cost... I have no idea what, but... Like, it must have been amongst... The cheapest games to buy. In store. It just had to be. I refuse to believe other way. This is... Oh! Is, was that Spider-Man? It looked like it. <laughs> yeah, so as always, in this one we don't even get to choose our character. Why did that happen? Why did they decide to remove that? That very cool feature from the game. <laughs> That's not Spider-Man. I don't know what it is. Probably again. They made their own maps, but all the NA models were stolen from somewhere, and sounds are obviously not made by them. It's just... bad. It's awful. I wonder how many more of these games we're gonna find. I don't want any more. This one also, it had virus. Well, that's what my PC said. I said hello. Now I feel like next time I check my bank account, I'll have no money. Can I just stop and never play this again? What happens? Oh, it's just same identical menu. Oh, we got, oh, we got something better. Yeah, imagine, imagine Ubisoft publishing game like this. <laughs> that would be funny. I'd like that. I don't even know what to talk about anymore since all these games have the same thing. I still can't find any information on Bilby Game Studio. And also thing is I don't care. I don't, I'm not playing this anymore. This game is awful. It's again same thing that I'm starting to really hate. I hope there is no more Russian FPS games like that. Bilby Game Studio, I hope you you stopped making games after this one. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.